Hello everyone and welcome back to Burrito Bison Lancha Libre. In the last video guys, we went back in time again and uh, since then I have gotten back here. So I'm at rift number 24 right now guys and I have 25 recipe pieces. And guess what? That's the exact amount we need if we want to get Huevos Rancheros Express. Ooh, fancy. It's not about the recipe though, guys. If you buy this recipe, supposedly you unlock a special character. So that's what I'm going to do now. Recipe book completed. Whoa, this is awesome. Here's a special reward for your hard work. What kind of recipe book only has four recipes in it, man? Seriously. Doesn't matter, because we just got La Bestia. New Lanchador unlocked. This mysterious creature looks like it can fly, hook, and smash. How curious. So I don't know how this works, guys, but apparently he can do anything. Really, having a puppy, guys, means a lot of things hitting the floor, and the floor is above me. I have no idea how this guy is going to hook, smash, and fly at the same time, guys, but uh, let's go ahead and open these pinatas real quick. Our time is running out on our... Uh, on our pesos pals, even though we have 17 and a half minutes, so it's not a big deal, that's a lot of time, but let's get these as quick as we can. Come on, bam, what do we got? Okay, good. Uh, you get a lot of money from these things. You get 12 million, uh, 12 million pesos if you if you get the really good one. Look, I just got another pesos pals, we're up to 21 minutes and 50 seconds. It's not going down now. Well, that's nice. I guess, no, it went down. Oh, no, I just got more pesos pals. I didn't realize that. It actually adds on up there before you even unlock the cards. Ooh. Okay, so I, I guess I got at least one more this time. Maybe two. Just one. Okay, so just one gives you a lot. And I just got 25 and 25 for the pieces as well. So, yeah, we got a lot of money, guys. Uh, right now, I'm not very good at eating cake. So I want to get that up a little bit. And I have a lot of stuff here. So I'm just going to ram that up. And we'll ram this up a bunch. And we'll ram up the aerodynamics. That's mostly what I focus on. Aerodynamics and a good speed when you start because if you got good aerodynamics and you won't slow down that much And you need to eat the cake at the end and I feel like maybe destroying the door would be nice so that you go through it with a good speed But maybe when we upgrade again, let's go Okay, so we don't get to try him yet guys. He's not coming for a couple more launch doors. That's okay Let's uh, see what we can do with spank. I mean spank was my favorite character guys But I mean if la bestia can do everything he might be my new favorite Sounds a little bit OP though, you know? Sounds like this guy's a bit of a tryhard, so... Hmm. Guys, I am going 1200 right now, and the top speed is 380. That just seems so absurd to me. We're already almost at the door. Let's see how much speed we lose when we hit the door, because I need to figure that out if I, uh, if I'm, if I gotta figure out if it's worth getting the door destroyer thing. Yeah, it seems like we lost a lot, but we also won. Uh, maybe we should do some of these things, you know? Try and save up some pieces here. Crash a total of five jelly booms, jump off a teddy flare, to hit a special gummy and miss your opponent on purpose and make it to the gummy bunker. Okay, I can do the gummy bunker one. That's obviously gonna be really easy. Um, so let's not upgrade any of this stuff right now. Well, eh, I guess I could. I mean, why not? It, it will help me get to the gummy bunker faster. Either way, I can get there pretty easily. I mean, come on. And it's this guy, so we just gotta jump below him. And wait, 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 wait. Don't go anywhere. Thank you. Gotta close that bag and go. All right. So, that little tiny thing only gave us 115 speeds, but I'm sure we can collect some more pretty quick. Look, I just got 15, another 14, another 14 or 15 or something. Good, I need to get up in the, I need to get up in the clouds, okay? Cause I just, I wanna speed this up. All right, so that was super easy guys. Just gonna pop on through there and we're here. And now we actually have to see this guy get hit by a chili pepper. This is my least favorite thing in the entire game. Hey! We made it. We can't go any. Oh, okay. Just, just hit me in the ass. Just blow my ass up, dude. I love it. Yay! Got one of these. Why, why would you even want a pinata when you can just blow your ass up? So it's done. Seven of those, aka twenty-five times seven of those, and something crap. Create your opponent four times in a row. That is some easy stuff. Just involves me, you know, doing it four times. So it will take a little while. Okay. Well, next up, guys, is La Bestia. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do before we go? I don't really care about the uh, these ones. Like, I don't care about Flavor Master or Slippery Lotion because I don't really, I don't really hit the ground very much. Okay, and especially if I'm gonna be using this guy who can fly, I feel like that'll be pretty good. We're not gonna need to worry about that. I like to get a nice, uh, a nice good starting speed and lots of aerodynamics so we can keep that speed going. 
But it might also be nice to have a good speedometer, but it seems like even if you, even if you have to upgrade this a whole bunch, it's still not a very high top speed. Like you saw that I just more than tripled my top speed, so it's not a big deal. So I'm just gonna go with Cake Eater, because the cake is hard to eat. And now, ladies and gentlemen, La Bestia. This is actually the logo for the company that made this game. Juicy something or another. Juicy Beast? I think it's called Juicy Beast. So this is the company itself, basically. And wham! Look at this guy, just hitting things with his big old eye. So if I, okay, that's cool. So he flies and then he grapples. Are you kidding me, man? This guy is amazing. I love him. I knew I was gonna love him, guys, but shit, I didn't realize that. So he flies and then he grapples. So he's like putting, um, he's like putting Spank and, um, oh God, look at him wearing, <laughs> he's wearing glasses. That doesn't make any sense, dude. Oh, wait a minute. I wasn't even in the rift then. Oh, that was dumb. Anyway, oh geez, what was that green stuff? He's like a combination of El Pollo and Spank. I know he's a combination of the three of them, guys. That's kind of what it said, but you fly and then you grapple and there's a little bit of extra smashing going on as well. Either way, this guy is some serious business and how can you not love him? Now I'm gonna get a door destroyer or a couple of door destroyers guys because it uh, it did seem to bring down my speed a lot and it's nice to have a bit of speed when you're going through those things. And now we gotta wait to use this guy for a while but at least this time we'll be in Candyland. Crit number one or was that number two? Did we, we I, think, I think that was the second one. Look at that. Look at us go! So yeah, guys, the trick to not slowing down in this is to just uh, always be slamming, okay? You just keep it slamming, bro. Slam! Because if you're slamming, you can't slow down. You just gotta rely on going fast enough, you know? Because if you're going fast enough, then you'll uh, you'll get to the end before you run out of rocket slams when you have this many. Like, how many rocket slams do I have here now? It's like 15 or something? That's a lot. All right, guys, here it comes. How is the door breaking gonna go this time? Maybe good. I'm not really sure just smack those there and We definitely need some candy eating going on guys But also we need to have lots of speed when we go in there because the 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 chili pepper does what 200 I think it gives you 200 speed boost So if you're going out there with a thousand, it's a lot better than just having 200 anyway, that's cool that's cool, give me some money so I can buy some things. You know guys, I feel kind of bad for the other Lanchadors now. I mean, these guys each had their own special thing going on that made them who they are, and then La Bestia comes around and he's all like, I'm the best now and I can do literally everything you guys can do and you all suck. Don't worry, Pineapple Spank. No one can take away the Pineapple Spank charm, okay? Now blast through that door. Ooh, that was nice, sort of. I don't know what the hell that was. Go up and down, okay? That'll get rid of some, there we go. Okay, get rid of some of that cake. We're almost at the door, huh? All right, guys, we just gotta get through El Pollo and then we can go back to everyone's favorite fuzzy mucus spewing eyeball. KO, bitch, got him, got him. Hey, check it out, I can fly. I used to feel really good about myself because of it, but not anymore because La Bessia can fly too. <laughs> How can I keep up with him? I can't, man. You guys should just all retire, okay? Because remember back when it was just Burrito Bison? and he could just be the guy who went it all the time, and then Spank came around and Burrito Bison had to share his screen time with Pineapple Spank. Well, if they all died, and it was just La Bestia left, you could always have La Bestia. In fact, guys, there is a, there is a recipe you can get where you um, you can choose which launchador you wanna use. It's not a recipe, it's in the question, question, question shop, but you use recipe pieces to get it. So I'm thinking, if we get that, we can just use La Bestia all the time, and we can just forget that the other Lanchadors even exist. It sounds like a pretty OP upgrade to be able to get, but it is a thing. So, we should probably get it, right? I feel like that's just gonna take the fun out of it, guys. You're never gonna wanna use certain characters now. All right, another, another decent attempt, I guess. Not that great, we need some more upgrades. See that? Man, it's the cake. It's so hard to eat the damn cake. <sighs> Okay, that was good, guys, because I just got two 25 pieces, which means I just made 1,250 candy pieces. So, look at that. We only have 371 left, and look at that! Even better! We're almost at another couple of candy pieces. I'm not quite at the end of the rift yet, guys, which means that I can still get uh, more multipliers, but I'm gonna have another 10 to add. That's pretty good. I probably won't put too much on starting, because now that, uh, now that I've gotten up past, I think, a billion, or is it a million? Either way, now that I've gotten past that, it's a lot slower when you add new candy to the starting money. Anyway, now we gotta ride, while riding special gummies, we have to squash a total of 20 
cups. Okay, well, that's gonna be really easy. That's just like a couple of prickly pears and you'll be done. Oh, geez, this time I got 69 billion. That's pretty good. Um, one on aerodynamics, two on door destroyer, one on cake, and one on this one, and another one on door destroyer, because door destroyer is still the one I'm trying to focus on here. Maybe after this, I'll focus on the cake again. Let's go. It's time to use La Bestia. Wow, wow. Take that, bitch. I got to say, guys, it's kind of gross. He is just spewing green mucus everywhere. Oh, damn it. My battery is dying. Oh, God. Oh, shit. All right, guys, I plugged it in, but the only place I could plug it in is uh, in my monitor, and I'm not sure if that's going to charge it because sometimes the iPad's a little bit finicky and it doesn't want to charge. So we might have to just play until my batteries run out. <laughs> you know what guys this guy might be a little bit cooler than the other guys because of all his techniques But he doesn't have his own uh, what do they got wanna bear? He doesn't look there's 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 no wanna bear for the bestia so I guess he's not so great after all now is he how was that? Oh, yes, of course Okay, we got a lot till we get to the next one but we got 10 candies, which is good. It really helps to have that candy cloner, guys. I would only only have five if it wasn't for that. I would be so much less far. So much... I wouldn't be nearly as far in the game if it wasn't for that. There. Is that Does that make sense? Because I feel like I'm not making any sense today. I think what we should do now, guys, is experiment a little bit and see what kind of stuff we can do here. I'm not going to put anything into the pickpocket one because, I mean, it only brings it up 0.1 times. So what if we put all our all our money into luck? I mean, how would that go? So we almost got our luck maxed out now. Nine upgrades have been added to it. So I'm assuming there's going to be a lot more good stuff, right? Hopefully it means we'll get more... Um, hopefully it means we'll get more honey potters because I really like those. There's, those ones are are super good, but they're really rare. So let's see let's see how our luck is now. What What is gonna be lucky? Like, am I, am I gonna see a lot more things down here? Or am I gonna see, okay, that was that guy and this. It seems, seems like I'm a little bit luckier. I don't know. Clearly I'm getting nowhere through this next door, guys. That's all I can tell ya. This is gonna be, it's gonna be tricky, I think. We're getting to pretty tr a pretty tricky point in the rift now. I feel like I need to make more money because these things are going to start taking forever to get through each one. I mean, each time you make an upgrade, it goes up by, what, half a million? Which is not bad because, I mean, if you start making 50 million at a time, even if you have a whole ton of upgrades, it might only cost you... Look, see that? That was gross. Even if you have a whole ton of upgrades, it might still only cost you, like, what, 15 million each. So you'll get a couple each time you do a run. That was gross, though, man. Like, that's why you need to have Cake Eater and Door Destroyer here. That's why I put all my money into those usually and not luck. Didn't really seem to pay off. You know, this is not going to get me where I need to go. Now, I'm going to stick a whole bunch into aerodynamics, guys, because I was slowing down too much. I couldn't get past, like, 500 and something. And I want to get past 500 and something. Up we go. 575. We're at 600. Okay. See, I didn't put anything into the initial launch. I only put money into the aerodynamics. So let's see how it pays off. We finally got a honey potter. This is the first one of the episode. I've been playing for like 20 something minutes. They do not come up very much, guys. Another honey potter. Wow, this is our lucky day. Trying to see how uh, how fast I can go, guys. Look, I'm up to I'm up to 800 now, but it seems like the higher I'm going, the quicker it's running down. That would make a lot of sense, honestly. And you know what, guys? I'm starting to think that the luck really is helping me out here. It seems like every single time I grab something, it's a special gummy. Look at this guy. Look at me going up here. I'm a key. Woo. <laughs> that was good. That was weird. Usually, you can't go up that high with the... Jesus. Come on. Blow me, and then I'll bomb myself. Terrible. Well, we got 68 billion, which is good. You know, can't complain there. We need some cake eater, okay? Let's get a bunch of those and a couple of these and uh, some cake explosion, guys, because, I mean, those bombs didn't do, like, anything. Uh, so what does it say? Faster, better, stronger explosion. So I guess we'll, we'll blow up more of the cake around us as well because it kind of did that then. It was really speckly and did a little bit of damage, but it was kind of lame. Okay, keep going. Well, guys, I'm once again going super fast, but um, I'm just going to hit the cake wall and then stop. Go, cake explosion! Still did like nothing. God, these ones are difficult. My battery is now at 3%, guys. What do you think is going to happen first? you think I'm going to manage to uh, run down my pesos pals, or is my iPad going to shut off? We will see. Let's, um, let's get more door destroyer and more aerodynamics. 
Okay. And now we got La Bestia. Hoo I expect this guy to go at least 900 before this is over, guys. Let's see if he can do it. Look at that, man. So many things. Thank you, luck. Really paying off. I really shouldn't have put nine into luck, guys. I could have a lot more upgraded and things that actually matter. Because, I mean, I just go up in the sky if I want to speed up. That seems to be a great way to do it. And with the grappling hook, it's easy to hook things that uh, are good anyway. You know? Oh, right back down again. Really? What is going on? What was that? Up we go again. 763. Not stop until we get to 900. Come on. Up we go. Oh, did it again. 858. Come on, 900. I really want 900. Go, go, go. Oh, there's nothing to grab. It's too late. It's almost over. I'm not going to reach my full potential. No. Oh, God. You get there, and then it's just trash. Just trash. Hey, buddy. How you been, friend? How's, how's it going? Okay, no Pacels Pals, guys. I'm trying to trying to get rid of the Pacels Pals before the end of the video. Before the end of my iPad. All right, all cake here this time, guys. Gotta get through that cake. Well, guys, I was hoping that we'd get a chance to check out how good the cake eater is gonna be now, but as you can tell, I really shit the pants. I really shit the bed. I shit my pants on this one. Take your pick on that, okay. Well, the cake eating seems to be going pretty well. You know, at least we got that. And we made a lot of money then, so let's let's uh, let's max out Cake Eater now. Okay, Cake Eater's maxed out. Now let's max out or buy the elastic cables. I can only get one, because they're getting real expensive. Come on, bro, come on. Well, guys, this time I'm already up to 800 because I got such a good starting, uh, starting launch with the elastic thing. And this guy is really doing the trick to, oh crap, I missed him. Well, that's just sad. Did I just lose speed for hitting the ground? I'm sorry. <laughs> Another one! Man, Gumdolf is coming around so much! He must really like me, look at that! All the way up to 876, and we're still going! And we're gonna hit that wall, guys, and we're gonna be eating cake, and I think we might actually get through it on this one. Let's just hope we do, huh? Up again! All the way to 917! Damn, girl! Look, La Bessia's got nothing on ya. Nothing. You better not have a Pesos Pals in you, buddy, because I said I didn't want any more of those. Okay, up we go, and we're through. I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. I could just, I could feel it deep down in my body. What you got? Not Peso Pals. Not Peso Pals. Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin. Okay, we're good. And the Pesos Pals are gone, guys. Look at that. Let me see how much uh, how much I got left. 1% battery. Ooh, that is scary. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and finish this up. I just wanted to check the, the shop one more time, guys. Swap a launcher. This is the one where you get to manually select your launcher door by tapping their life bar above the ring. Now, it doesn't say that you can't just use the same one again and again and again, so it might actually be really advantageous, okay? And there's also the great Gumsby I want to check out, and you can see the world from further away, which sounds cool. But all those cost uh, a lot of recipe things, so once I go back in time again, uh, I'll be able to pick up a whole bunch more, and we'll be able to couple, get a couple upgrades in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching! If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.